Sir, the rebel scum has some sort of new giant worm monster. They're unleashing it on us. What? From that intro, you can sort of deduce what we're going to do here today. I just want to take you through the steps how I would design a spaceship that somewhat, hopefully, fits the Star Wars universe. Let's get started. Before jumping into the whole uh, sketching process, I just wanted to show you the little research that I did uh, before. And this is always an important part of the, the process. Um, because yeah, you, it's, I always say you need your references, you need to do your research, you need to know what you're actually doing. So what I did, I went a little bit into the history of the people, not the history, but I just took a look at the people who uh, worked on Star Wars and who were sort of instrumental on shaping like how Star Wars looks. And at this point, I'm mostly looking at the old school type of Star, Star Wars. So Ralph McQuarrie and uh, Joe Johnston are the, the two main influences and I want to stick to this. So as I said in the, in the beginning, the main thing for me is to try to design something that looks like it would live in this world. And it's really not that easy at all. Like you have to make sure not to copy what's there already, but you have to try and, 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 and sort of build on it. Uh, and I sort of, I really love Doc uh, Chang's work. It's, it's just, he didn't, he worked mostly on the, on the prequels, uh, even though he works now, obviously he's, he's now a big, big boss over there at LucasArts. But so one thing that I really loved is, is this design. Uh, I think, I, I don't know what, what the name of it was, but it was in episode one. And as soon as it came in with um, two Jedi ambassadors and it landed, I was like, wow, that is totally Star Wars. And I feel like it's like a natural evolution of, of, of this ship. So yeah, that, in general, I took a look at Ralph McQuarrie and, and Joe Johnston's work and was also a bit inspired by Doc Chang. But just Doc Chang's style in general inspired me quite a bit. He also has this very nice marker industrial design sort of style. So at least now we know uh, what we're looking at. Then I took a look at all the ships that I like. Not, not all the Star Wars has much more ships, but what I like is the asymmetry. So as we can see here uh, on the B-Wing as well, uh, there obviously there's also some symmetry and it's, it's the simplicity of the shapes. So they're like, I feel they're not overly complicated. It's just like really, oh, uh, we, we need a bomber, just throw two engines and then a cockpit and then it can drop bombs. Uh, so that's, that's sort of what I feel Star Wars is. Uh, one of my favorites, because as a kid I grew up with KOTOR, Knights of the Old Republic, the Ebon Hawk is one, one of my favorite ships. I don't know how nice or not it is. I also like the, I think it's a U-Wing from Rogue One and I haven't played the game yet, but I really liked, I think this was called the Mantis, uh, just because this wing like, like rotates sidewise and then I think it can rotate around the whole ship. So I was thinking about oh, taking that with me. And the idea for this whole thing is also to sort of, I like creating like hero ships when you have uh, like things with hero ships. And that's why I also like this. Um, in general, if you look at hero ships, also the also the Millennium Falcon and also the Razor Crest, it was like sort of a repurposed ship. Okay, like this was always sort of a smuggler ship, but I think this was like a, a, a drop ship, or, or it's at least it is quite similar to the drop ship, and it was just repurposed. So I, I would like to think of something like a repurposed ship, and then. Oh yeah, something that is a big influence of me when it comes to Star Wars is Cam Kennedy. He did the, um, what was it called, the Dark Empire uh, comic books. I think it's two series of six issues each. But his style and the watercolor and, and everything that he does just looks so awesome in the Star Wars universe. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. And he also, I think he also designed some ships for these series and they just fit it so perfectly. And then obviously I like, I like the World War II comparison. So just also this utility and, and the cockpits that, that sort of re, re, uh, emerge. And also like if we have a, I want to go with a smuggler ship, but like, okay, you have really these utilitarian things. So I just, I put this thing together for myself to have sort of this uh, uh, mood board 
and I started sketching once I had all of this. It took me a good uh, hour and a little bit until, until I uh, gathered all these uh, visuals. And for the rest of the video, it's going to be yeah, mostly sketching. Uh, I sped it up and also like cut it up a little bit because you sort of know how I sketch and I just mostly want to talk about this process, right? So I sort of split this up into three parts for myself, uh, one being ideation, then exploration, and then detailing. And this, this is the first part where I do the ideation. And this, this is really about just exploring all sorts of uh, different shapes. So also this is why it's good to have the, the reference material and also that, li li that little mood board that I put together for myself because I want to keep in mind, okay, I'm still in this world and like just remember what shapes fit and what don't because b back in this old Star Wars, we didn't have the nice sleek things. Like that was before it, right? <laughs> A little bit after it. But the first three movies or episode four, five, six, uh, it was very blocky and all other than the Mon Calamari, they, they were a little bit... Okay, anyways, I'm more, more sticking with the Empire uh, part. And uh, yeah, here I mostly start just with exploring the shapes with my markers, with the chisel tip, just because this doesn't let me do too much detail. So I just try to draw in some of the shapes, as you can see, and I just go over it with the fine liner just to add some detail. So the idea is with, with the marker itself, I don't try to draw. I really just try to fill in as much as possible. Here and there I draw, but also I try to use the shape of the marker, which is going to give me sort of happy accidents, as Mr. Barbara says, uh, that I might explore. So I basically have this blob and then with the, with the fine liner, I can, oh, maybe there's a detail there. And then I, I maybe recognize something and I just explore it with a fine liner. So almost it's like a double layer of, uh, of, of shape exploration. And I stuck a little bit too much with, with that first uh, couple of sketches were technically all the same. I just turned it a little bit in a 3D and I don't want to do too much of the same thing, especially this early. I just wanted to move on. Uh, so also that's why like one of those, the next shape was like a big bulky ugly shape that I didn't like, but that's, that's, that's no problem because you want to get a lot of these ideas out of your head. And I also had a lot of, um, I, I love drawing spaceships, so I did have to pay attention not just to make it generic sci-fi spaceship, I wanted to keep it as Star Warsy as possible. Uh, and I wanted, to, so that the idea is, as I said before, so this should be a, a hero ship, but sort of like not necessarily a smuggler ship, but it was like a, a fast cargo ship that has been transformed into a, a more utilitarian ship for our crew, our hero crew, whoever they might be. Like imagine a Han Solo, a Luke, a Princess Leia, and the two droids, may, maybe uh, another alien sort of uh, creature as well. And the rest is really just building on this. I want to keep it a little bit... Um, asymmetrical. I also tried out some symmetrical forms and one I really liked, especially drawing it from behind. It had this little bit, uh, the engines on top and then below that we had this boat sort of thing. I also added a little check mark to it, but as soon as I started turning it in 3D space, it, it didn't work anymore. Uh, that's why it's usually good when you do these sort of uh, very preliminary exploration sketches to try doing everything in sort of the same perspective or from the side because that, that gives you the, the most uh, information, like that back view in the end didn't give me a lot. And then I ended up with a relatively asymmetrical uh, design. Now looking back, I don't know if I fully like it. I, I would have loved to have more time, but when I do these videos, I also have to I have to add time limits for myself because I only have a, a day to to do a video like this. So I, I do have to stick in there. Uh, and this was around yeah the half an hour to an hour hour of sketching. I don't remember exactly, but it it, it was uh, manageable. And then the next part would be the exploration part, as I mentioned earlier. And this is basically when we choose a design from the, the, the previously done sketches, one or two uh, designs that we liked. Well, I wouldn't call them designs, but shapes that you like, and then start exploring them a, a little bit further. And this is what I do here. I, I wanted to go firstly with that uh, boat design that I said earlier, but hmm, in the end, I decided, decided to go with the top, no, 
bottom right corner uh, design, which is, is sort of was like, I like it, it's, it's like a, a big block, which is sort of the cargo bay, and then uh, the bridge in front of it, and then a big engine behind it, and then just go. <laughs> so yeah, that, that was that was sort of what I imagined, but I, I wanted to see how I can uh, work a little bit more with this shape. So I always start with a couple of very basic uh, geometric shapes, like blocks and cubes and, and whatnot, and, and I try building on them, I try cutting out from them. And here you can also see I, I start more drawing with uh, the um, marker as well. So it's not just about filling in the, the spaces with, with a marker, but it's more about, okay, let me draw in the actual shape of what I'm trying to draw. And then with the fine liner, I explore the details a little bit. Um, looking at it now, looking back, like technically exploring and detailing sort of comes a little bit together because I'm not sure you would need a detailing phase for for this time in, 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 in the design process just because if you're working within a studio, uh, you would take like what, what I have at, at the end of the exploration phase, I would say, okay, this is perfectly presentable within the company, of course, to, to your art director or to, to the team, like, hey guys, I had this idea, can we go with this? And some of the drawings, just because these are looser, are also better in my opinion than the final two, but I did the final two just because I wanted to have a nice drawing <laughs> to, to show off in the end. But okay, so let, let me go a little bit more into what, what uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing here as, um, as well. As you can see, I'm, I'm, I also have some uh, annotations here and there. This is the phase where I just note down something that I find. Like for, for example, uh, I wanted still to bring in this like, um, not necessarily asymmetric, since the ship already is asymmetric, but I wanted to have a wing or something that moves. I really liked it from the Mantis, and I also liked it from the um, um, Imperial Transport ship, the, the Delta Wing, whatever it's called. Sorry, I don't remember the name. But I just like that something is, is movable and has to change in a ship once you take off uh, or, and land or, or, or move, dock and move. Uh, I'm not sure it works here, so that's why I also have a, a question mark at, at that wing part. But um, yeah, that's, that's something that I would probably explore further down the line if if this design would, would go on. Another thing that I always find uh, important and interesting uh, at this phase is to just for myself to know, okay, what's, what's what on the jib? So I wanted to, to see, okay, this area, this is all cargo hold. This is the bridge. This area is crew quarters. The engine part is probably here. And then this is engineering that takes care of the engine and then, and then running the ship. So I, I, I like to sort of partition the ship for myself to know, okay, okay, this is this. And also what I like to do is just usually do a, a turnaround of the ship and you see, I actually redrew the same angle uh, twice just because first I was like, okay, I'm not sure what I'm doing. And the second time I was like much more uh, in, in the know, like, okay, so I know what goes where and what I want to do. And there's not such a big change between the two. Uh, and it might be considered a little bit of a waste of time. But if you sort of know that you really like this design and you want to go on with it, if you do it several times, you know your own design that much more, that, that better, right? So you can sort of defend it and or you can not defend it, but you can easily adjust things if uh, feedback pops up and the iteration needs to happen. So that's why I, I really don't mind and I like, I enjoy it actually redrawing the same angle and just adding things, maybe just uh, adding some more markers, add, adding some, just one extra level of detail, just for my own understanding. So I find that uh, quite valuable. And then the final phase, which I call detailing here, as I said, this is not necessarily something that exists. Like if you want to also show it to a higher up, yeah, sure. But a lot of the, the um, greeblies, gravels, greeblies <laughs> that I put on here is, is really not important yet. It, it's just to give, okay, so what would be, it's, it's really like a concept idea. Okay, this ship would be like this. Um, honestly, I should have done a little bit more also of the arrows and the explanations of, because I still, I'm not sure about the the wing that I chose to be there but um, yeah also I would sprinkle in a couple of the previous sketches on this big final image just just, just to show some because I think there I had some other angles that, that just show a little bit other parts of the ships as uh, of the ship as well um, but yeah this this is really mostly for me uh, as uh, for fun also to just put something on the social media to have like more of a final design. Um, but yeah, this, this, this is sort of the, the, 
well, current level of the end design of the Star Wars ship that I tried to put into the Star Wars universe. Uh, it's, it's fun. It's uh, relatively utilitarian. I think it sort of works. It could be a little bit smarter. Like I tend to do this sticking too much to the to the basic shapes sometimes. Sometimes I move away from it nicely, but here I feel like I, I pushed myself into a corner with trying to be angular. I, I, I could have done it a little bit uh, nicer. Um, but hey, it is uh, what it is. I hope you guys do like it. Uh, one question: Like, would you would you like to see this not explored necessarily, but like just pushed to the to the final level? Like maybe putting it into a digital form and and adding some colors, maybe some three D underlay, because I could do that for the next video. But then comment in the comment section down below that you would like to see that, because then I can make a video out of that as well. Could be could be an interesting follow up to this one. Either way, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Give it, give it a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. Make sure to comment, as I said. I, I Just in general, any sort of comment, I really enjoy reading your ideas, your uh, uh, thoughts, everything regarding uh, the videos. And you can also subscribe, you know, all the, all the, all the good things. Uh, you can also support me if you want to. Uh, links to my Gumroad in the description down below. But as always, the most important thing is that you guys have a great time and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.